Hi guys, Stephen here from To Be Fit. Just a quick little video log, just to talk about results, really. Why you may not be getting the results you're after, and how to kind of manage that, learn from it, and actually move on to something that that is going to give you the results you've been looking for. I'd like to start by saying I may sound like a bit of a dick throughout this video. It's not the intention. The intention of the video is just to try and open your eyes, give you a little bit of motivation, see where you're going wrong. So again, bear that in mind, it may sound like a dick, I'm not trying to be a dick, those who knows, it's not really my thing. Right, anyway, what I want you to do, you don't have to look into a mirror, but if you've got one there, all right, I want you to look at yourself, all right? If you're not happy with what you see, what we're trying to do is kind of learn that what you see in the mirror or what you see when you look at yourself, that right there is a product of your choices, okay? So... When you look at yourself, whether it be in the mirror or just looking at your fitness levels, okay, your body shape, your health, your happiness, whatever it might be, what we're trying to do is understand that that right there is a snapshot of your decisions, your choices over the last few days, weeks, months, and even years. Okay. So what I mean by that is you know, you choose to take an extra 20 minutes to lie in bed, all right, rather than get up and have some breakfast or prep some food to take into work. And what does that lead to? That leads to going to the vending machine when you're at work, or, you know, running out to something convenient like Greg's, okay, that kind of thing. You choose to drive past the gym on the way home from work because you're tired and you just want to sit on the settee and watch some soaps, all right? You choose to go to the gym, but you know, you choose the intensity that you go out when you're at the gym. You know, you might turn up, but do you actually really kind of put in the work when you're there? You know, are you crawling out of the gym? Do you know you've given it your all? Are you going then just kind of going through the motions and maybe just putting in 60, 70%, all right? You know, you choose to go out on a Friday or a Saturday night, go to the Wicked Gate, smash pack 16 double vodkas and Cokes just because you know what the hell, all right? Not saying any of those are wrong decisions, you know, we all need to live a life and enjoy our life, you know, with friends, family, that kind of thing. But what I'm trying to get at, the point is that when you look at yourself right now, if you're not happy with where you're at, can you honestly say to yourself that you've given it your all? Chances are that you're not going to be able to do that, all right? That's, like I said, that does sound a bit dickish, all right? But you'll know what I mean. If you can look at yourself right now and say, you know, I've given it everything I possibly can and you're still not happy, there's very, very little chance of that. Myself, I'm, you know, put my hands up and do this. I'm currently doing an online competition at the minute and I'm doing a lot worse than I thought. All right. But what that's done, it's opened my eyes and I know why I'm not doing as well as what I, I thought I would be. Okay. Beforehand, I thought I was going to do great, but now that I'm doing it, results are coming back. I know what I need to work on. I know what I haven't worked on enough. I know kind of where I've messed up, but that's good. All right, that's what I'm trying to get at with this video, that we want to kind of look back, analyze what we've been doing, and kind of critique ourselves and learn where we can move forward from there. All right. So if it is the case, like I said, that you know you spend an extra twenty minutes in bed on a morning. Right, rather than getting up and prepping your food for the day. Make that your goal, all right? Set an alarm for, you know, 6.40 rather than 7 a.m. Get up, get some breakfast, prep something, take it into work. You're gonna save money in the long run because you're not gonna be spending money on convenience food and it's gonna do a lot more for you, all right? That kind of thing, all right? That's what I'm talking about. Look at yourself, look at your decisions you've made, see, if they're working for you, if they aren't, great, okay? Keep going, all right? Not everyone's gonna be looking in the mirror and thinking, you know, this isn't what I want. Uh, you know, this is where I wanna be. Plenty of people are gonna be happy, all right? I say plenty, I've met very few of these people, okay? Very few are always uh, uh, happy. Again, kind of talking about these goals and results, all right? I'd like to kind of touch on something I could write at the whole 75 minute blog on this. Shortcuts, quick fixes, unfortunately, these things don't exist, all right? You know, there's tons and tons of these kicking around at the minute, 
waist trainers, you know, belt that you just crank up so tight around your stomach you can't breathe. At the minute there's some sort of ash suction cups that you put on your ass and, you know, get them sucked and it makes your ass look bigger. You know, the liquid diets and nine day letter diets, the third letter in the alphabet, probably can't say it for legal reasons. You know, these, these things are absolute bollocks, all right? They really are. They're marketed cleverly for, again, this is gonna sound dickish, the lazy and the unmotivated people, all right? The people who buy these products are the ones who aren't getting up earlier in the morning. They aren't going to the gym on the way home from work. They're not putting in the graft, or they are going to the gym, and you know they're sitting there in the recumbent bike reading Hello Magazine, all right? doesn't have to be Hello Magazine, again, copyright reasons, it could be anything, okay, Women's Weekly, doesn't matter, all right? These are the people who aren't giving it their all, you know, they're looking for something that's gonna speed these results along, and that doesn't exist, all right? You've probably know people, you might have done it yourself, okay? It's not a bad thing, learn from it, move on, don't make the same mistake again, save your money, all right? The only way you're gonna to get to where you wanna be is through hard work, be it your training and your diet in consistency, okay? And that doesn't mean you need to be on it 100% of the time. You know, have some fun, all right? You know, enjoy your food, enjoy your life, but more often than not, you're gonna to have to be good, all right? You're gonna to have to be kind of hitting that gym hard. You're gonna to have to be taking care of your nutrition and making sure you get a balance of your foods. So, you know, forget the quick fixes, all right? Like I said, you'll you'll know someone who's who's done these kind of diets before, you know, they're constantly looking for the new fat loss secret. Okay, there is no secret, all right? But these people, they aren't the people who kind of do this once, all right? They're constantly looking for something new. Why? Because if there was one secret, it wouldn't be a secret, it would just be it, all right? You would do it. But like I said, these are looking for a quick fix all the time, all right? Does not exist, all right? These people, you know, they'll be like, oh, this is the best thing ever, this is the best thing ever, this has worked so well, you know, I lost 14 pounds in six days or whatever, all right? You see them a few weeks later, they've put that weight back on. Two months later, they're telling you about the new awesome way to lose weight, all right? Look at these people, are they really in shape themselves, all right? Do they know what they're talking about? Do they come from a health or a sporting background, okay? This doesn't just apply to people like this, you know, look at your coach your personal trainer, your fitness instructors, what do they do, what do they promote? I, I work for To Be Fit, I, I am To Be Fit, myself and Ian, all right? Look at us and our staff, what do we do, all right? We kind of promote health, you know? We eat well, we train hard, you know, we have a life, we enjoy ourselves outside of the gym. This is kind of what you want from an instructor, all right? Someone who's gonna motivate you, someone who lives a life, and somebody, hopefully, who you kind of look up to and you, you can draw inspiration from, all right? You know, we're not these guys who are constantly posting photos on the Instagram, all right? Photoshopping bits, you know, saying we're in shape 24-7, you know, 365 days of the year. No, we're not, all right? That's, that's not real life, all right? It, it's just not, okay? Yeah, you can get in shape, all right? You can be in good shape all year round, but you can't be in amazing shape. All right, it's it's kind of that simple. All right, guys, this video is a little bit longer than what I expected it to be. I do have a habit of a rambling on a little bit, not as much as Ian though. If you ever catch one of Ian's videos, you're in for a treat. But hopefully what I've said makes sense. All right, like I said, it's not designed to come across as me being a dick. It's just designed to come across, open your eyes a little bit, kind of realize that you need to be accountable for yourself and your own actions, okay? There's, there is nobody to blame. It's it's where you are now, it's not a bad thing. Learn from it if you're not where you're at. Move forward, okay? Anyway guys, if you want any more advice, fire us a, a message or come down and see myself or Ian at To Be Fit. For now, I'll see you later.